Welcome to its topic. In this video, we are going to discuss the practical question paper of class 10 computer science. Here, you will have to do two questions. Question 1. Write a program to extract the, the, extract the individual digits from a given string. Or, write a program to find the summation of the digits of a given number. Here, to do the first program, the first question is, uh, I think, wrong. It should be write a C program to extract the individual characters of a given string or write a program to extract the individual digits of a given number because a string is collection of characters not numbers so let's do the first program we'll do write a program to extract the individual characters from a given string to do this program first we'll open code block we'll take a new file and make the file as C++. First header file include stdio.h then one more include string.h after that main function int main then we will take one in uh, character array so character str and size is 20 and we also have to extract the individual digits so for index we will need one integer variable so we will take int i and one more variable s s stands for size now first we will collect the string so we will write printf Here we'll write enter a string. After collecting the string, we will have to store inside the after printing the message, we have to store the string inside the variable. So we'll write gets gets and here we'll write str. After taking the input, we'll have to count the size. So we'll write s equal str len in bracket str after that we have to display the individual characters so we can write one printf statement the individual characters are After that, we are going to use for loop. For, we'll write i equal zero, i less than s, i plus plus, and inside we'll write printf, and here we'll display percent is c, and here m person, str, and in square bracket i, and here semicolon. And we'll come out from the loop here, return 0. Now we'll have to save the program first before executing. So we'll save the program with question 1. Now we'll compile the program. So asking me to enter a string, let it be hello. So the individual characters are, there is something wrong let's find out here we don't need m person symbol and here we can give us less n let's compile it again the character hello so the individual characters are a g Let's compile the program. String let's be hello. So the individual character I R H C L O O. So this way we can do the question number one. Now let's do the over one. Write a program to find the summation of the digits of a given integer. Now to this 
to do this program we will require the main function and return 0 and we not required the string dot h this file so we'll remove it and first we'll declare the variable so int our variable will be n digit then sum equal 0 and we'll collect the number from the user so printf here we'll write slash n enter a number now scan it here percent d and we'll store inside the variable and person n now we will use while loop here while number greater than 0 okay when the number is greater than 0 then we will do these things we will first find out the digit so digit equal n modulus 10 we will discuss this the program in some other video in details so why we are doing these things then again we will write sum plus equal digit and in next line n equal n divide 10 so the answer will be stored in some variable we will display the answer here outside the loop print f here we will write the sum is percent d and the location is sum after that semicolon is necessary so this is the program now let's compile the program here there is something wrong let's write the full form sum equal sum plus digit So number let the number be 245 so the sum is 11 means 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 5 it's 11 so the program is correct you can see the program from here now let's move to the next program question number B write a program to display the pattern this pattern 1 1 2 1 1 2 3 2 1 so for that we will need three variables we will remove this program uh, the unnecessary part from this program we will need four variables total i for number of lines s for spaces j for the first triangle and k for the next triangle and first we will write for loop here for i equal 1 i less than 3 equal to 3 then i plus plus inside this loop we will write loop for the space so for here we will write s equal 1 then s greater than equal 3 minus i then s plus plus and here in printf statement we will just write one blank space and nothing after that we will come out from this loop but still we will be in inside the parent loop next for loop here we will write j equal 1 j less than equal to i j plus plus and here we will print the value of j so printf percentage d and comma j after that we will come out from this loop and we will write for k now so we will write k equal i minus 1 and k greater than 0 then k minus minus and here we will display the value of k so we will write printf here we will write percent d and comma k and semicolon after that we will come to the main loop here we will add one line printf and here we will write slash n semicolon so this is the complete program you can see on the screen let's compile the program if there is no mistake we will get the output 
so this is the output now we will move to the next program write a program to take input and array and display it so we have to take an input to the array and display the elements whatever we stored inside the array for that first we'll remove the first program which is not necessary here here first we'll declare an array int arr let size be 5 and one more integer variable it's i now we'll write printf statement enter the elements of the array now we'll come to next line here we'll use for loop and here we'll write i equal 0 i less than 5 because the size of the array is 5 then i plus 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 and inside here we'll write one printf statement so that user know what to do here we'll write element slash n element percentage d and once colon after that we'll write here comma i plus one then semicolon scanf statement here we'll write percent d and we are going to store inside ampersand arr and square bracket inside i semicolon now we have to print the array output part is done so we can write printf statement one more displaying the element so we can write slash n displaying the elements after that semicolon and here again we will write for loop i equal 0 i less than 5 i plus plus and inside here we will write just printf statement and here we will write percent d and after that we can give a slash n to print the value in next line and the location will be arr in square bracket i and semicolon return 0 is already there so this is the program to take input to an array and display the elements this part is for input and this part is for displaying the elements so let's compile it hope there is no mistake okay let's die first enter be 5 9 8 2 and 1 so first i have given the elements 5 9 8 2 1 after that displaying the elements 5 9 8 2 1 so this way you can do the last question of this question paper and after that you have a 10 marks for practical files that school will decide how they will give and 5 marks for oral i hope you have done well in practical thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye